my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to reduce the boot time on your PC. Now, the boot time is really a factor of two different things. First, how much stuff Windows is trying to load at once when Windows starts. And secondly, how fast your hard drive can feed all of that stuff to the processor. The processor will load it up into RAM, and the more programs you're trying to load, the slower it will go. If you have a low-end hard drive, it will also go much slower. Let's take a look at the Windows side of things first. So the first thing to check is msconfig, which stands for Microsoft Configuration. To get it open, you can click Start in Windows 7 or Windows Vista and type Run. And it'll bring up this Run program. The alternate way to start this is to hold down the Windows key on your keyboard. It'll look like the little Windows flag. And then tap R. And you want to type in msconfig. And it will bring up this configuration screen for you. What we want to look at is this tab called Startup. You can see there are several things selected. There are only three things selected, actually, to start with Windows. There's a whole host of other things that could be selected. I definitely recommend you check this first, above and before all. Almost 100% of the programs that you install, especially higher-end editing programs, will put something in here to enable it to start with Windows. Google does the same thing. Java Updater does the same thing. These are not things that are vital for Windows to start, and they will start on their own if you need them. So if you go to open up Google Chrome, it'll open up just fine, even if the Google Auto Updater doesn't start with Windows. Cutting down on the number of things that start will dramatically increase your boot time, uh, excuse me, reduce your boot time, increase your speed. So what I've got set is my audio driver, my video driver, and my security, so my internet security. Really, there's not a lot more that you need than that. On a laptop, you may want to keep the driver for your touchpad enabled also on start. But if you've got a ton of things filling in this list, and this list is quite extensive, and all of these are checked, your computer will boot at a crawl. The other thing that you can do is swap out the hard drive. Now, there's a lot of different trains of thought on this. One nice balance is if you have just your operating system on a solid state drive, and then you have a second drive in the computer for all of your data and even auxiliary programs and games. Um, you can balance it back and forth. Solid state drives are very expensive. And the bigger they are, the more expensive they are. So if you get a very small drive, you may not have room for your programs on it, but just for Windows, in which case you can install the programs on the second drive. Again, boot time will be very, very, very quick. Starting the programs will still be a little bit slower. So the more that you can get on that solid state drive, the faster you'll start programs even once Windows is booted. But booting from a solid state drive is easily twice as fast as booting from a regular drive. This, however, will still slow down a solid state drive if you don't configure msconfig. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to reduce your boot time in Windows. I'm Josiah Ray.